Okay guys, today we're going to be doing an unboxing video. The video is going to be on my new Toro personal pace mower. It's right over here. I am replacing the old Toro, which has served pretty good. But she's starting to knock a little bit. Admittedly, it's from a little bit of abuse. Uh, oil had run low a few times. And on top of that, when my grass gets good and high, like you can see over there, I tend to just push it through and not worry about raising it up and mowing twice. So what we're going to do is we're going to unbox the new one and do some comparisons between the old and the new and what the differences are. One of the reasons, I was uh, considering the Honda HRN or something 316 until I watched Chicanic's video on Don't Buy This Mower. That's a good uh, video to go watch. Um, well, Another reason I didn't want to go with the Honda, even a different uh, model, was the Toro is 3-in-1 where it'll mulch, bag, or you could use the side chute, which is what I like to do when the grass gets high is throw it at the side or bag it. The other feature I like is right here, the smart stuff is I'll show you when I get it out of the box and put together and even figure out how it actually works but you can stand the mower up okay this is the Toro the ultimate mowing machine let's get her out of the box and get it together and see what we got ounces of oil. Got your serve, your manual here. Just put the handle on. Okay. Do that. And that. And it looks 
So we got these cans here to pull back to lock this place. Like that. Awesome. Side by side here. Okay, so here they are side by side. This one says it's got vortex technology, which is to do with the vor vortex technology is to do with how it lifts the grass so that it can cut. This one does not have that. This has it, you can't tell by this shroud, I put I changed the shroud on it, but this is a six and a half horse engine. Whereas, I don't know if this says what, what it is, I think it was a 163cc, they said. Actually it says 150cc on there. But I thought I read somewhere else. Let's see what we got. Let's see what the box says. That, like it says, Vortec Technology it says more airflow to supercharge a grass cutting. And it's personal pace. That's a variable drive. That's the other one does the same thing. So that's the same. It says no levelers, no adjustments, no leaning or learning. The self propelled evolved. Okay. Okay, so that is by now most people would know it this is the old one when you walk this handle slides forward as you see there and that puts tension on the belt there's a, a little gearbox in the back here that actually pivots and gives you different uh, different uh, variabilities of the pulley that's on there. This has the same thing. Okay, I do see this has to be put together here. So This is going to have to go on there and on there. Okay. Okay, this is this handle is as most mowers are now, you have to pull the handle down. To keep it running you let it up and it hit it applies a brake on the flywheel and also grounds out your ignition so let's just pop this on real quick like that and like that and there it is okay the camera shut off so i have to re film a few things if you watched my carburetor, uh, common problems with a plastic carburetor, you'll recognize this here. This is the same carburetor, which is on just about almost all the mowers nowadays. The other difference I noticed, which I think is a nice feature, is the bag to mulch system. If you lift this up here, you have this lever to go to bag. Now push the button down, move it forward for bagging, move it back for the bag to uh, mulch. And by doing that, you're, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but you're moving this flat to let, it, let the grass go into the bag. Or you put it down for mulch. Which that in itself is a nice feature. Because this one here, the old Toro had this plastic plug that you had to take it out for the bag. Then if you're going to go from bag to mulch, you had to put this plug back in.
like that and then close the flap that was for mulching and then you had the side chute you lift that up you can put a side chute on okay what's so nice about that is that plug kept getting lost so here you don't have to worry about it it's always with the mower but that's a nice feature also I noticed the, the rear wheels are higher than them that's a nice feature for my lawn because I got a pretty rough lawn doesn't look like it but uh, that's why I scalped it with a John Deere but uh, it is like not very even so okay these blue knobs here are to you can lock it to lock your handle so you can stand it up easier plus you also have two settings where you can adjust it so let's put this thing to work thing I don't like about it is it doesn't tell you how much oil it actually takes it just tells you to fill the oil check it after three minutes I I'm assuming it'll take that whole bottle which is pretty normal but I'm looking for the actual capacity of the oil and I don't see it anywhere before I get too far I want to show you this smart stove feature which is like I said one of the reasons I bought this it's going to be you're going to turn these knobs got these two blue knobs here this one here you'll just turn them that way and you're going to turn this one that way what you're going to do is you're going to fold your handle forward And that is the smart stove feature where it'll stand up on end. Uh, apparently it ain't going to hurt the valves or anything like that because the valves are up here. So you can store it like that and keep it out of your way. They show you in here and they show you the ways not to do it. But here it is there. You know, fold your handle forward like it says. And then you're going to just stand it up on the rear wheels like that. That's how you want it to stand. You don't want that. You don't want the handle standing backwards or anything up on the front wheel or anything. There it is. That's how you can stow it. All right. We're going to finish putting the oil in this. And we're going to put some gas in it and try doing some mowing. Okay. These blue knobs here are to... You can lock it to lock your handle so you can stand it up easier. Plus you also have two settings where you can adjust it. So let's put this thing to work. Okay, we got some pretty high grass over here. We're going to see how she does through that. We're going to have to get the right setting. Um, it's not real thick, so it should cut fairly good. We're gonna go right in the middle on the setting, see how she does first.
Let's drop down a little bit because it looks like it's too hot. So the new Toro did a pretty decent job. It did leave some clumps of grass on the higher areas, but that's to be expected. I was running it pretty low, but it, I will say it seemed to do a better job than the old Toro. So I'm happy with it, and I would recommend it. But this was the first cut, so I'll, maybe I'll come back to you in a year and see what we think. But right now, I'm happy with it.